As we learn our science vocabulary this year, we are going to be filling out some papers that look like this. So it's backwards, but we've got the word here, so you're going to write the word, the definition of it. You're going to draw some sort of picture, and then you're going to write a complete sentence. Now remember, complete sentences have capitals at the beginning, periods at the end, they should have a subject, and they should have a verb. What is that thing doing? So I think it's great if you can use the word to describe what is happening, maybe help you remember something more about the vocabulary word. So as we do this, I'm going to be sharing some slides with you. So the word, the same, definition, you'll write exactly like I did. Your picture does not have to look like mine. If you want your picture to be something different, you have a better way to remember that, please draw your own picture. So one thing they do need to be is detailed and colored. Scientists draw with detail. Okay? We don't just scribble and call it good. Okay? Scientists draw detailed pictures. So when somebody looks at it, they can understand it. And then your sentence can be mine or you are welcome to write your own. Okay? So if you need help coming up with yours, you are welcome to borrow mine. But it's got to have the capital and the period. Or you can describe your picture. That's a great, like a little caption to describe your picture. But you should be using the word in your sentence. And now it doesn't have to be exactly the word. Like, for example, if we're talking the word walk, you don't have to say the walk exactly. It could be walking, walked, walks. So you can change the tense of it or the way that we say it but it needs to have that root part that's the same. So as we are filling this paper out, I'm going to be sharing some slideshow videos with you. And I'm gonna talk about the word, the definition. I might talk about the word just a little bit more, maybe give you a way to remember it and share my picture and sentence. At that point, I would like you to pause the video and fill out your row for the word. When you have your row filled out, you'll resume the video, do the next word, pause. So while I'm talking, though, about the word, I would love for you to be listening and not writing because it's hard to be listening if you're busy writing and you might miss something important that I have to say. So listen to the whole slide. I'll tell you to pause, pause, do the whole row, come back when you are ready to do the next word.